Hello everyone, Mark here. I hope you're all keeping well. And in today's video, I'm just gonna do another quick unboxing. And yes, you can guess by the title, I have bought another MN86K RC crawler. So, as some of you know from previous videos, I have already bought one of these. I bought the black version for my little girl and we we're actually pretty impressed with the vehicle so I decided to go ahead and pick up the white version so hopefully Banggood have sent me the correct colour we will soon find out but yeah really happy with uh, the model now as you guys probably know already there's some things that I did not like about this model the manual although looks nice it's actually a pretty rubbish manual um, but this one I'm hoping the manual will either be a little bit different but if not it's not an issue like I say it's um this is not the first kit or it's definitely not going to be the last kit that I've ever built so yeah it's not too much of an issue but I just want to do a quick unboxing on this one I must admit I really do like the white body um, but it's good that obviously we've got both you now the black body and the white body now this one will not end up staying with me because obviously like i say i bought this for my nephew so um he's going to be building it and basically when we go rc and we tend to go rc and together quite often anyway so um but you guys will see both vehicles up and running one thing i wanted to check quickly though was the manual because like i say on my version the manual although it looks good the manual is actually pretty awful because they tell you to use wrong screws. Also, the pictures contradicts itself. Um, so let's see if this one is any different. By that, I mean some of the parts when they show the orientation, it shows you the parts with the wrong orientation on it. So it'd be interesting to see if this one is the same or not and we will find out in a few yep yep <laughs> so yeah on the pictures here as you can see hopefully you can see this so on the picture there shows you the um the steering hubs round different ways <laughs> so it doesn't make sense but all in all though i'm really happy with the vehicle so if that was just that i just wanted to quickly get that out of the packaging but and obviously there's a nice white body but i'm going to give you a quick look at the black one why not so i have built the black one as you can see looking pretty cool if i get the camera off there we go give you a nice walk around i've painted the interior i'll give the interior a nice lick of paint made it look a bit more scale looking yeah really happy with actually how the model has turned out the quality of the plastic is reasonable um, for the money I must admit you can't go wrong you really can't for such a cool looking scaled vehicle let's give you a look around the front just like so yeah so for the money you can't go wrong you really can't um, you just got to get over some of the quirks that these vehicles have so the manual, not the best manual, although it looks lovely, nice and colourful, big diagrams to follow. Well, there's no point in having big, pretty diagrams if they're going to put some parts around on the wrong way to confuse you when you're actually building it. But apart from that, guys, yeah, really impressed. Another thing I don't like, but it is what it is, where you got two versions of this, you got the MN86K and then you've got the upgraded version which is the MN86KS. The KS comes with some extra parts so roof rack, um, snorkel, everything like some more scaled things, guards over the lights. Because 
this don't come with them you see the holes it leaves the holes where they use the same body so yeah that's a bit of a downer but that's the reason why i bought the black one for my little girl because you don't notice the hole so much like you will on the white version um but apart from that I'm more than happy with this vehicle overall. Oh, and the KS version also comes with full ball bearings throughout, where this comes with bushes. So, yeah, I kind of wish I paid the extra 20 quid, to be honest, and just got the upgraded um, KS version. I will leave a link in the description below to both versions of this vehicle anyway. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks. I'm going to, if I take the body off to quickly show you, I haven't installed the electrics yet. Obviously the motor's in there, but I need to put the electric speed controller and receiver in there. I'm gonna do that later on today. And then hopefully, if the weather's not too bad, take it out for a spin. So yeah, really happy. So I must admit guys, I do recommend buying these models. Now normally I don't recommend, like, I don't want to sound harsh to WPL and stuff like that, but normally, like, I wouldn't buy one to be honest, um, because they're just too toy grade for my liking. I'm, I don't particularly, I'm not a fan of them. Let's just put it that way. Leave it there. Um, but this M and normal MM models as well. You've got the cheaper versions. Um, I'm not a fan of them either. Non-proportional. Anything that's not proportional is not worth having, in my opinion. If you're really into your RC vehicles, if it's not proportional, why bother getting it? I just don't see the point unless you're a kid. Um, and even then, it's like I've started my little girl RCM when she was about two years old. And we went for proportional straight away. Um, but this mn version super impressed to be honest guys it really is cool for what you pay and for what you get yeah it's definitely good value for money so yeah i'm starting to waffle on now anyway you're going to see some more videos on these i'm going to do some upgrades some mods running videos stuff like that so stay tuned hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you found it interesting as well and don't forget come check me out on instagram cm vinyl uk for all your rc decal needs so yeah that's it for me guys thank you so much for watching happy rc and take care bye bye